Rob were a couple of days back into pre-season. It's the, the dreaded time for any player, but it's where you get the hard work done. Hmm. No, it's been very good already. We had a really good re kind of a reset meeting on Monday, uh, which we probably needed after last season. Um, that seemed to go very well. The players kind of really seem to have bought into everything we've asked them to do. We've got a couple of early morning swims in now already this week, and we've already got a block of hard work in. We've got some good fitness testing done as well. Um, the guys are doing a bit of skill work now, kind of indoors, because the, the weather's not great, hence we're, in, we're, we're inside, which is a bit, a bit of a shame for pre-season, but it's, it's going okay. I feel like a, there's a good feeling, um, not, a, not that kind of bubbly, silly feeling that sometimes happens when the guys get together. I kind of get the, the feeling the guys are ready to get down to some hard work. Um, that's always a good place to start when they're in that kind of a frame of mind. That's normally a, a real good indicator of where we'll be towards the start of the season because it feels like we're ready to get some, some real work done and, and maybe use last season's disappointment as a, another driver for us to take some steps forward. You didn't have really a pre-season last year, it was so quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. um, that's one bonus that you've got on this year, but also what's your overriding emotion of the way the season ended last year. You talk about disappointment, frustration, they were key words you used probably at the end of the last thing. Yeah, not, not because, uh, you know, I, you, you win and you lose games, you know, and, and I said after the final, you know, the, the get that final was about the winners, which was, was Harlequins, and I still, I still firmly believe that. But that doesn't stop the frustration of probably how we finished the season. You know, you don't have to be a, a rugby genius or be able to read games inside out to watch actually our results towards the end of the season. And other than probably when we went to Bristol, where I think we were, we had a bit of a point to prove, and you could tell that in the way we played that day. And it, but even then, you know, we started to pull away from Bristol and then kind of eased, eased our foot off a bit, and Bristol scored a try back, and then we decided to go hard again. You know, if you look at those results, you know, going 18 points down, 18 nil down at half time away to Northampton, you know, then going even worse down against uh, Sale at home. Uh, and then, you know, and only deciding to come back when it looked like, you know, the home semi-final was definitely slipping away and we had the red card. All those things contributed, I think, to a, a lowering of our standards and a, a little bit of a, it'll be all right and we'll do what we need to do to win. And actually what happened in the finals, we, we ran out of time. We ran out of, you, you, you can't decide you'll do a bit when you're behind and then ease off again when you're in front against a team that can come after you like Quinns were, were going to do that day. They were going to throw everything in the, and the kitchen sink at us that day and they did. And they ended up taking the lead at the right time of the game. And although we although we scored back, you know, you show how quickly we scored back when we went behind, but we just ran out of time. And I think that's that for me was a frustrating part about last season. I think we, as a group, for for whatever reasons, just didn't read the warning signs. Um, but sometimes you, you need something. You need that loss in that final maybe to really say that the warning signs were there. We weren't. We weren't. Didn't have a killer instinct. We didn't really put teams away. We didn't finish teams off. When we were in front, we kind of we kind of did enough, and doing enough for those last few weeks of the season ended up costing us the biggest game of all, and that that for me was is, is a little frustrating. But at the same time, I do I am also one of those people who know you have to go through these things to really appreciate them. You know, we've we've had some success for a number of seasons. The year before, you know, backing up being double champions and backing it up in the right way was always going to be tough, and we nearly did it. You know, we very nearly did it. We very nearly backed up. By winning another trophy, you know we came as close as we probably could have come, but we didn't come close enough to win it, and that should be a frustration and an annoyance for us. The, uh, the slate would have been clean with all the players and that, but when we look to the new season, we saw last season that's probably the most competitive Premiership we've seen, and Saris are back now as well. Oh, that's right. I, mean, I think it's. I mean, honestly, I think we probably need Saracens back. I, I don't mind saying that. I think, I think you know, you you need to look at a season and go. There's going to be some real competition out there. There's going to be. There's going to be some real reasons to get out there and fight. And as you say, last season, you know, it, it really was a season. I know everyone talks about it. It really was a season where pretty much anyone could beat anybody on, on a different day. And one thing that I felt was there was there was never a game that just felt okay from the start. You know, I know, you know, in the end, there was a few games maybe earlier in the season where we ended up with some decent scores and pulled away from teams. But that never happened early. There were always things that happened later in the game that created those things. And that means you've got to be, as I said, that means you've got to be prepared to work very hard and commit for a long time to get the results you want. And that probably just ebbed away a little bit in our game towards the end of the season. And it's something that we focus very much on, on getting back right from the start of this year. What's the message you've said to the boys this week about getting back on track, getting the focus right and getting ready for the season? A little bit. I, I, know, I, know, I know, you know, most of the lads should, should have done a fair bit of ticking over. 
through the off season and, and you can tell by our fitness scores already some of them have but on the whole really Monday needed to be a reset we need to be right you know let's clear the decks let's leave behind what I think are the mistakes we made last season and let's start from now and for me that's just being honest and doing your best every day uh, I've just said to lads if I walk around and I think you're doing that I'll be very happy um, if I'm walking around and I'm thinking you're still still kind of going along going through going through the motions a little bit and going we'll be okay we've been to finals before we know how to win games then you know you'll you'll feel my wrath a little bit but up until now that's that's certainly not been the case i think we've trained really well and trained hard and um i'm looking forward to the next day of training and the next week of training already and like with any pre-season it'll be these next few weeks you build and build and build and all of a sudden monster over here in the pre-season game yeah and i think that's the important thing i think we've got to get on with it i mean we've got a few you know the lions won't be coming in until they've had their five weeks off which doesn't start until after the game on, on saturday um, Slade is obviously a couple of weeks behind because of the England games. So we, we haven't got the full squad here yet, but that's, the, that's in a way is kind of good because we've got to get on with things and the group who are here, the group we're going to get on with. Um, and I quite like that. I quite like that saying, right, this, this is it now. I think, we, I think we've got one more player coming potentially next week, um, but that'll be it then. This will be the group that is going to go probably four, five, six weeks into the season. And that's quite exciting and I, and I quite like that. I quite like having this little focused group of players who we can really decide how we're going to work, how we're going to train, what our ambitions are for the season, what we want to look like as a team, you know, adding a, adding a couple of little bits to attack and defence. We've already, we've already got some ideas around that, obviously integrating the new, the new law variations in, which will be interesting. Um, and we'll get a lot more information on that on Monday post the Australian New Zealand game, which is going to be played under the new variations. So we've, we've got a referee catch up on Monday that will will guide us to, uh, to how the English referees are going to referee the Premiership, which will be good, because that means we can start introducing that into elements of training as well.